Hi, my name's Toba and I'm going on a journey to find the cheapest foods around the world, starting in our very own London town, working our way around the city, out through the country and eventually the world. This is Cheap Eats Season 1, South East London. Now we know how much you guys love cheap food, so we're back with a whole series. Cheap Eats in South East London. And today, we're in Woolwich Arsenal. Here's a fun fact. Woolwich was originally a military location, manufacturing weapons and machinery for the British Armed Forces. Recently though, it's been undergoing a major reconstruction, turning it into a thriving and vibrant hub and attracting a multitude of nationalities who call this place home. Let's try some of the foods. Let's try some Eastern Mediterranean street food. Now they have a falafel wrap with hummus for a fiver, but since we've covered that in other videos, I thought I'd try something different. Oregano fries or oregano fries, depending on where you're from. <laughs> Now for only £3, you get a full box of oregano fries, which I think is just oregano sprinkled on some fries. It smells herby and bursting with flavours. Now the beauty of this place is they cater for vegans. So they have the lemongrass turmeric tofu for £4.50 or the roasted vegetable bao for £4.50. Oyster mushrooms with in-house sauce for £4.50. So it's under a fiver, so we are within budget. Let's see what it tastes like. Get a load of this. A lemongrass turmeric tofu with sweet chili, lettuce, cucumber, pickled carrots, muli, pickled red, red cabbage, radish, coriander, fresh peppers, and crispy onions. Wow, I'm, I'm salivating by the sounds of the ingredients. <laughs> this, you can tell, is gonna be a messy eat. So you just have to embrace it and tuck in. It is a perfect combination of flavors. You can taste the sweet chili, the tofu, the crunch of the lettuce, and the carrots as well, and crispy onion. Oh, it all just works so well. Now, the crispy tofu offsets the texture of the bao. So you get a bit of soft and you get a bit of crunch. Oh, homemade lemonade. Perfect for summer's day. It's more on the sweet side, which I like, <laughs> so no complaints here. Next on our list, Tasty African Restaurant. I'm especially looking forward to this one. Let's head in. Now you've probably heard of jollof rice, which is a staple dish in many African countries. And for only £4.50, you get a plate full of it. 
Now I added some plantain for some extra flavors. And this star over here is called Puff Puff. For this, you get four for one pound, and it's basically fried dough ball. Now this has a sweet and savory flavor to it. It's soft, squishy, and delicious. Now Puff Puff is versatile. You can have it as a snack or as a hand lotion. All you have to do is squeeze it and you have enough lotion for your whole body. So if you ever leave with dry skin, here, Puff Puff to the rescue. Jollof rice. Now when most people think of jollof rice, this is what they know. But realistically, this is just rice cooked with peppers, tomatoes and spices. This is barely an introduction to African food. Now jollof rice is a controversial dish amongst many African countries about whose is the best. Now that isn't a biased opinion because I have tried Ghanaian and Sierra Leone and the others but personally I have to give it to Nigeria. It's got the perfect amount of spices and flavors to take you back home. How about Nepalese food? The Namaste is a Nepalese mobile kitchen and they're big on vegan. Let's check them out. So I've gone for Vada Pad, which is a vegan burger for three pounds. Now this has mint chutney, coconut and vegan patty. Now, it does look very interesting, but hey, Nepalese food, right? Let's give it a go. Mm. It's very squishy. There's no substance to it as well. I think the patty is made of a potato base or something, but it's very squishy and it doesn't have any bite or structure to it. It tastes decent though, the mint chutney, you can get the coconut coming through and the sauce. Now it has a light kick to it, so if you like spice, then you won't mind this one. Now over in this corner with the bold flag is Peter's Panis, a Venezuelan food truck from South America. The prices look decent, so let's try it. Now they seem to have a very economical menu with alfredas from five pound, which are these ones you see over here. And then chapata from three pound, which is a corn-based cone with filling in it. And that you can have mushrooms, beans, tofu. And here we have empanadas for two pound 50, which Pedro has gladly given us for free. So if you're ever in Woolwich, definitely check this stall out. Now this is a vegan empanada with beans and plantain. My favorites. Mm. 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 Okay, so it's basically a fried pastry with plantain, beans and peppers in it and that's what it tastes like. The pastry is like a fried plantain and then it has the delicious fillings in it of plantain, beans and peppers and onions. Now we can't do cheap eats without covering pizza. 
How much? One pound fifty for seven inch? Yes, please. So seven inch pizza with three toppings for one pound fifty. I went for mushrooms, sweet corn and peppers. Now I can't have this because it's not vegan, but I assume it tastes like pizza. All right, so that's one location down in our Southeast series. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this sort of content, leave a comment in the description. As always, my name is Toba Courage, and that right there was the hack.